Hi everyone, I would like to welcome you in this series of uh, literature about uh, hyperspectral imaging uh, and its application and, uh, and agrofood uh, uh, quality evaluation. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Gamal Masri. I'm coming from Suez Canal University in Egypt and recently I'm working in National Research Food uh, Institute, uh, INRA, in, uh, in France. Uh, and we prepared a uh, series of literature uh, using uh, how to use the spectral imaging technology for quality evaluation of agrofood products. Uh, this uh, presentation will be divided to four segments. Uh, first of all, uh, we will introduce introduction about the hyperspectral imaging system. And second, we will differentiate between hyperspectral imaging and multispectral imaging and how the configuration and the image acquisition moves between uh, both systems. And uh, we will shed some light about using uh, one of the most uh, important technologies called illumination-based multispectral imaging. And finally, we will present uh, one case study of using uh, multispectral imaging for seed monitoring. Uh, with first session, I will give you some introductory uh, statements and introductory information about uh, spectral imaging in general. Uh, to evaluate our product, first of all, we need to use all of our senses. We need to smell the product, we need to taste to evaluate the appearance, the gels, the texture. Uh, if we use all of our senses, we can, as you see here, if we are a consumer, we should feel happy, healthy, and if, if you are a trader, you can earn a lot of money for uh, selling high quality product, and also you can share your product in national and international markets. Unfortunately, it is not uh, ideal a solution all the time, but due to invasion of uh, microbes and uh, microorganisms, your uh, product could be invaded by uh, microbes and microorganisms coming from animals, from air, from uh, hands, from, well, from insects, whatever. And of course, all of these parameters can affect uh, the overall quality of, uh, of the product. And if you are a trader, of course, you will, sh you will lose your, sh your share in international markets and the national market. And if you are a consumer and you start to consume this uh, bad quality, you can get sick and you can go to the doctor and finally your condition will be very severe. Uh, so, how we can evaluate the, the quality of the product? There are two methods. First method is to use ordinary method. Ordinary method, the people usually, or the workers usually, stand up in, uh, along the conveyor belt and they start to pick up uh, some rotten or diseased or damaged uh, product away from the conveyor belt for, uh, in the production uh, systems. And unfortunately, all of this system is manual, slow, subjective, tedious, and of course is not sufficient for uh, market demand. Uh, other solution is to install uh, reports or cameras uh, using a vision system, uh, depending on the color uh, imaging system. This system as well is not even sufficient uh, in some situation like uh, objects with similar colors or uh, in case of complex uh, classification like uh, very tiny, very small uh, objects like uh, seeds. Uh, even if you need to try to predict some internal attributes like chemical composition, uh, this uh, vision or normal imaging system is not uh, sufficient to do that. And uh, in general, if you need to see something uh, not visible to your naked eyes, uh, the normal camera is unable to give you this kind of information. So what is the solution? The solution is to find a technology that can fulfill a lot of parameters, a lot of characters. Like it should be uh, non-destructive, rapid, consistent, reliable, and give you some information for internal uh, quality parameters and should be overall non-contact and automatic technique. All of these parameters could be found in spectral imaging. So uh, what is the spectral imaging? Why we choose this one? Uh, because it is a non-destructive uh, technique and uh, very fast and uh, can give you a lot of measurements simultaneously at the same time. Uh, 
so imagine for traditional method, if you have this piece of uh, very nice fish, so if you need to get information about the quality, overall quality of this fish, so you need to take this fish to the lab to cut, to mince, and then go to your ordinary and instrumental measurement using a wet chemistry method to have uh, overall uh, one value of average uh, chemical composition. On the other hand, if you need to implement the spectral imaging, you have the same uh, piece of uh, food, and then with the remote imaging system like spectral imaging, you can acquire one image, and from this one image, you are not going to obtain the overall quality, the overall average for, uh, for the whole uh, sample, but you can obtain the value of chemical composition for each single spot in your sample, and then finally you can find a very nice distribution of any chemical composition of the sample. So, if you need to, to tell we have uh, some impression uh, about the sample uh, that is already uh, liable to cut and mince, of course it is not happy to do that, but the sample here should be happy because nobody touch it to, to find the internal chemical composition. In the second session, we are going to speak about the hyperspectral imaging and the multispectral imaging and the configuration for both systems, and we see you in the second shot.